<coughs> clinical picture of uh, fracture neck of femur. Um, the clinical picture depends upon the type of the fracture. In case of undisplaced impacted fracture, what is the manifestation of this fracture? Only tenderness and the slight pain over the site of the fracture without any other abnormal finding. Therefore, this impacted undisplaced fracture usually missed clinically and only diagnosed radiologically later on. In case of displaced fracture, as usual, there is history of trauma, uh, which may be minor, especially in old age, with uh, pain and tenderness over the fracture in the region of the groin. Ask the patient to raise his limb. The patient is unable to raise his limb uh, or to raise his limb because there is severe pain on weight bearing. There is a characteristic deformity. What is the deformity? In about 80% of cases, there is adduction deformity. Why? Because the adductors here are stronger than the abductors. We all know that in any fracture, after the fracture, there is severe pain, which leads to reflex spasm of the surrounding muscles. And the surrounding muscles here, the adductors of the hip or the adductors of the thigh are stronger than the abductors. In 20% of cases, if the trauma from medial to lateral, there may be abduction deformity, but the rule is abduction. Once the fracture occurs, there is a spasm of muscle called iliopsoas muscle. Iliopsoas muscle is attached to the lesser trochanter, and the spasm of this muscle leading to flexion of the thigh and the external rotation of the distal fragment. Also, there is an important factor in external rotation, which is the weight of the limb. Uh, please try to sleep and uh, let the weight of the limb to fall, uh, let the lower limb to fall by his weight. The limb will be external rotated. Therefore, due to the weight of the limb, the distal fragment always external rotated, even in fracture shaft of femur. Therefore, in any fracture in the femur, the distal fragment is external rotated as a rule by the weight of the limb. Therefore, the deformity here is this. Slight flexion with adduction and external rotation. This uh, fracture occurs in this uh, dancer uh, during dancing. The fracture neck of femur occurs and suddenly this deformity occurs, which is flexion, adduction, and external rotation. Sure, uh, Due to muscle spasm, the greater trochanter rise upward. Rise upward leading to real supratrochanteric shortening and dimension all lines and all special tests mentioned before in posterior dislocation of hip joint. Uh, what is the investigation of this patient? Sure, X ray. Plain X-ray will show the level of the fracture, but notice that impacted 
undisplaced fracture may be missed in X-ray diagnosis. What is the treatment of uh, this patient? First of all, analgesics to relieve pain. And from the start, try to treat the cause of this fracture. We mentioned that this fracture usually occur in elderly female due to osteoporosis. Therefore, we start to give drugs to treat osteoporosis, to increase bone density, to increase the strength of the bone, and this will improve uh, healing of the fracture. Never forget that the main cause of this in this patient is prolonged bed rest, and all prophylactic measures should be taken to prevent complications of prolonged bed rest. Intracapsular high neck fracture need emergency surgery as soon as possible. As soon as possible to relieve pain, to restore early mobility, and to prevent complications of prolonged bed rest. Why surgery is the only line of treatment in this case? Because the proximal fragment. The proximal fragment, which is the head of femur, is freely mobile inside the acetabulum. And reduction against this freely mobile bone by conservative measure is nearly impossible. Therefore, high neck of femur means emergency surgery. What is uh, the method? According to the type of the fracture and the age of the patient. In case of impacted, undisplaced fracture, in all ages, we need no reduction. No reduction is needed. Why? It is impacted, undisplaced fracture. No reduction, and the treatment is internal fixation by two or three cannulated screws. What is meant by cannulated screws? Technically, uh, in this uh, patient, we introduce uh, from the greater trochanter, from the distal fragment, actually, which is the greater trochanter, to the proximal trochanter, guiding wires under X-ray control. And we ensure that this wire perfectly pass from the distal fragment to the proximal fragment. These are three guiding wires. This is the first wire, and here we introduce three guiding wires from distal to proximal fragment. And along these guiding wires, we put the cannulated screws. Screw, cannulated screws mean a screw which has aluminum. Therefore, this is the guiding wire. We put the cannulated screw and we introduce the screw so that the guiding wire will guide the screw from the distal fragment to the proximal fragment in perfect direction. This is in case of impacted, undisplaced fracture, no reduction, fixation by two or three guiding wires. Uh, cannulated wires. In case of displaced the fracture depends upon the age. In case of patient under the age of 65. Under the age of 65, usually the treatment is the same. Two or three cannulated screws. Um, but uh, this is a displaced the fracture. In case of displaced the fracture, we need closed reduction. If fails, we do open reduction, followed by fixation by the same route as before, which is two or three cannulated screw. But in older age, above 65, there are two important factors. First of all, marked severe osteoporosis. 
above the age of 65. And there is high risk in this age of a vascular necrosis. Therefore, because there is high risk of a vascular necrosis, the best is removal of the part which will be suspected to undergo a vascular necrosis. Removal of the head and the neck of femur. And replacement by a prosthesis, synthetic prosthesis. And uh, this operation is called hemi-arthroblasty. Hemi-arthroblasty. And this hemi-arthroblasty in this age, 65, the bone is very weak. There is marked osteoporosis. And during the introduction of the processes inside the femur, the bone may be fractured. Therefore, we do a canal in the distal fragment. And before introduction of the processes, we put a cement in this canal. Then introduce the distal part of the processes. Therefore, this is called cemented hemi arthroblasty, which is very important in very old age to avoid fracture of uh, the distal fragment during the introduction of the process. Um, if the patient uh, has uh, a very good health, Without any cardiac problem, renal problem, hepatic problem, the suspected age of this patient is long. And it was found that if you, we use hemiarthroplasty after 10 or 15 years, uh, the patient suffering from severe problem, pain, etc. Therefore, if the patient has a very good health, and uh, with severe osteoporosis, but the other condition in the body is very, very good. Therefore, this is the best, which is total arthroplasty, or called the total hip replacement. Replacement of the head of femur, and also replacement of the acetabulum. Therefore, it is called total hip arthroplasty, or total hip, hip replacement. It is indicated in severe osteoporosis and if the patient have a long time to live uh, and good general health. The disadvantage, the only disadvantage of uh, total hip replacement or uh, total arthroplasty is more surgical trauma and expensive. Um, this is uh, the fracture uh, neck of femur, the first type, which is called intracapsular high neck fracture. In the next video, we'll start to discuss the extracapsular neck fracture. Uh, thank you for good listening and good luck.